So lately a lot of YouTubers have been shipping themselves in boxes to avoid paying airfare prices. And I just think that idea is brilliant. There's no way it could be fake, and there's no way it could even be faked. So I'm getting ready to go to China. 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 But before I put myself in a box and ship myself away for the next, what is it gonna be, like two weeks or so, we have to prepare ourselves. Because a two week trip in a box, I'm gonna need some supplies like food, beverages, and maybe some entertainment. But before we gather all of our supplies, guys, don't forget to drop a like on this video right now. Do I'm it! I'm stopping the whole production. I'm not Just getting in that box and shipping myself off to China until, until you like this video. Right now. Just do it. Just, just stop the video. Scroll down. Hit that like button. Let's go for 10 billion trillion likes. Just, 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 you know, or, or like a few thousand, just, just, just to like the video, did you like it? Oh, you liked it, okay, good. Now, I looked up the price of an airline ticket to China, and it's pretty expensive, very expensive. Let, let me show you. From where I live in Dallas, to get to China, it's gonna cost me like $1,500, or even a little bit more. That's crazy pricing. So what I thought is, why not expose myself to the elements for two weeks, spend two weeks in a cardboard dungeon, and get myself to China for cheap. Cheaper than 1500 bucks. I do weigh over 200 pounds, and I'm six foot five. So this package is still gonna probably cost like $500 a ship, but hey, yeah, I'm frugal. Balling on a budget, still saving $1,000. So let's get those supplies. Now, I've been thinking, what would I need to survive two weeks in a cardboard box? Well, food probably is number one. Water or some type of beverage is probably number two, so we're gonna raid my pantry. Okay, so what do I have in here? I have fruit snacks, I have cookies, pop tarts, <sighs> mac and cheese. Ooh, I could take some mac and cheese. Oh, but how would I cook mac and cheese without a, who's calling me? Like I said before, I was so rudely interrupted. I can't cook anything in a box, or at least I don't think I can cook anything in a box, so. We gotta take things that are actually prepared to eat. Like cookies, chips, and fruit snacks. So the box I ended up getting doesn't have a ton of wiggle room left after you put me inside, so I had to go light on the food. I'll have to ration myself, you know, kind of like lost in the wild and you only have a little bit of supplies, but your body can still survive 30 days, so I should be fine for two weeks. Let me show you what I grabbed. So right now, we have some Milano cookies. As you can see, th this is two cookies. That should be good. Uh, Nutri-grain soft-baked bar. Yes, that, that's a full bar, so that should be like at least three days food. And then we have these awesome little fruit chews, which is at least like, because they're so nutritious, like a week's food each. So we have like three weeks worth of food here, so I should, I should be fine. Now I'm gonna need a beverage of some sort because I don't wanna die of thirst, especially two weeks in a box, but I'm not gonna have a lot of room to like put a little pee canister because my box is pretty small. So I don't wanna have to pee too often. So I can't bring water or anything that's actually gonna hydrate me, but I have a plan. This isn't gonna stop my trip. I'm just gonna bring a lot of soda. So for this two week trip, I could probably take like, I don't know, like three cans of soda. That, that should be enough, you know, one can per week, and I can even splurge on the second week and have two cans. So we have all the supplies for my two-week trip to China. Now, all we need is the box, we're gonna prep it, we're gonna get it ready, then I'm gonna put myself on my front porch and the mailman should be here any minute now to pick me up. So I got this box the other day in the mail uh, from Express. It's a massive box, I should be able to fit in and, and close it up, as you can see, it's. It's gonna be a little snug, that's why we can only bring a few drinks and a few pieces of food, but I should be able to fit in that, and we're gonna be on the way to China. Now guys, before I go to China, I really need you guys to comment down below where you would wanna go if you could ship yourself in a box. If you were as crafty as me and had two weeks time on your hands to be shipped across the world, tell me where you would go in the comments. And don't forget to like the video, like I said before, you probably should've liked it already. What are you doing, Nova? What? My dog's barking. She's freaking out, <laughs> oh, it's the tripod. No, nope, I'm going to China. I'm going to China. You guys excited for dad to go to China? You guys excited for dad to go to China? You gonna, you gonna, you gonna watch me in China? You gonna, you gonna, you gonna visit me? You gonna tell mom where I went because I forgot to tell, tell Haley where I was going? Okay, I'll see you guys in like four weeks because I have to ship myself there and then I gotta ship myself back and, oh man, I never thought about how I'm gonna get back. I'm not gonna have enough supplies for the four week trip. There and back. Okay, so I got the box on the floor. Now it's time to pack myself 
inside this bad boy. Big box, a lot of wiggle room. Probably gonna have some entertainment over here. I got my cell phone fully charged. Should be good for a few weeks. Now let's just, let's just get in and just wait for the, yeah, wait for the postal guy to come and pick me up. Like, there we go. A lot, a lot better now. A lot more, oh, a lot more wiggle room now that those walls are down. This box comes with a, a, a foldable wall feature. So now I just gotta wait for the post guy. But I have to wait outside, so probably shouldn't have sat in the box yet. Yep. So right now I'm just waiting outside for the postman to come, come pick me up. I'm standing in my box. It's a very spacious box, lots of room to do activities. These two weeks are gonna go by like that. So now I just gotta wait, you know? He should be here within a few hours. And then uh, I'll be on my way to China. Okay guys, the postman just rolled up. I'm sitting in my box now to further disguise myself. He's gonna pick me up, put me on the truck, and in two weeks time I'll be in China. So now we just gotta wait. But think small, think box. Hey! Hey, uh, Wea, what are you doing? Oh no, I'm just a package, going. I'm going to China. Yeah, he's going to China. Yeah, I can't, I can't take you to China. No, it's fine. I give consent. You you can ship me. I I give consent. I sign for it. I sign for it. Go, go. Sir, that's illegal. Okay, I'm I'm I'm, I'm gonna leave now. Hey, come back! Come back! I gotta go to China. I packed all these supplies for nothing. Hello? Well, clearly that mailman doesn't watch YouTube and doesn't know how the box challenge works where you ship a human across the world or country. Clearly he doesn't watch YouTube and know that it's allowed. Said it's some breaking law against the law thing. Nah, I saw people do it and they wouldn't lie to me. They wouldn't lie to their viewers. It wouldn't be a scam. Guys, I'm so disappointed because now if I ever want to go to China, I gotta pay $1,500. I don't got that kind of money. So hit this like button, share this video, help me make money so I can go to China. I'll see you guys. Bye. Two to the one, to the one to the three. I like good pussy and I like good trees. Smoke so much weed, you wouldn't believe. And I get more ass than a tree.